Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Weekly Tower reading September 23rd to September 29th, uh, 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Cancer, is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Four card. Afterwards, it is uh, the positive aspect of the week here, that it is the Lovers card, and then at the end we do have the Guidance that a uh, tarot is offering to you and that will be the Ten of Pentacles. So before we scrutinize the reading, one more time. Uh, seven of Wands, it is uh, the topic and the theme of your week. Afterwards, we do have the full card, which stands as the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Then it is uh, the Lover's card that stands for a positive aspect of the week. And the last one here, it is the Ten of Pentacles, which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering. So, um, the first one, which is the topic of Seven of Wands, it is catalyzed or accompanied by the Five of Pentacles. So we do have an active neutrals here, and uh, actually this week is going to be a bit, um, well, I would say stressful, but not exactly. It is because how the week is going to play out here is uh, that you are to regain some ground and that ground it is about a, a lost ground that you had gave on or uh, gave on or it, it just it was taken from you back in the days and i do suspect that we're talking about either a, a broken friendship here or a broken relationship lost job something that you have lost that was um let's say unfair, uh, this time around you are to have the chance to regain your ground on. So uh, this, uh, so the week itself here will allow you to, or kind of like will give you the opening for you to make an actions in order to get what is yours, I would say. But in the same time, the week itself will require from you to be a rather I would say patient. It's not exactly patient. It is more like vigilant, right? Where um, you stalk your prey. You stalk, and the prey, it is the moment. The prey is that person that's uh, mistreated you, for example, or that broke up with you, or that fired you from your job. The prey could be that situation which you wanted to be a part of, but someone denied you of, and etc, etc. And you are going to have that opening where finally you can, um, 
you can get what you were after back in the day so you can get what is yours but that opening will be rather in a short in a short window and a small window and for that reason you need to have the readiness and determination to uh, incorporate your actions as soon as this opening present itself or appear so it's like you have you have something that it is rough to be overcome and that week it is time for you to besiege it okay so the next one, uh, it will be about the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the Fool, and it is accompanied with the Four of Pentacles. And it's quite of a challenge. It's because they, these two cards, first of all, they are a active uh, enemies, and the only thing that they say is uncertainty. That's right. Nothing it is certain. Even if you make the best and most bulletproof plan out there, once you regain back your ground, once you regain back your positions, uh, how you are to perform and how you are to construct, systemize, you know, the future of this enterprise, it is actually impossible to do so. And that is to be the challenge, to be open for everything new, to understand that there is no such thing in this situation as a foreseeable future or rather like as a predictable foreseeable future and for that reason you know you always have to take things with a grain of salt uh, uh, you should be uh, ready for everything and in these cases i would suggest people to be always ready for the worst do not presume anything be always ready for the worst all right and um, uh, what was the third one and hope for hope for the smallest thing that is possible so you don't raise your uh, you raise your hopes high because they could be shattered or they could be rather unapproven, all right? But uh, it's important here to as well drop off your, uh, should you want a another go, should you want to regain back your ground, uh, you need to let go of some defensive measures, some defensive actions, okay? Like, uh, I don't know, you may have certain, a certain standpoint or certain position in regards to previous relationship or, or, or under previous uh, or in regards to previous job. And these standpoints needs to be let go of. It is just, you know, you should abandon, like I said, uh, an outdated positions, outdated um, ideas or fixed ideas as well and a, a defensive standpoint so you can um, you can have another goal you can have a second chance into broken relationship into lost job you know or into broken friendship or simply a second go into an endeavor that have failed back in the days so the third one it is the positive aspect here and we do have the lover's card which is accompanied with the page of wands uh, the formation, it is a active friends that we do have. And uh, first of all, um, you will be able to establish quite a very harmonious relationships throughout this week. Of course, the lovers is about as well flirting. It is about a, um, how do I say it? Uh, well, it's not exactly about love because the lovers, it's a, um, it's an, an air card. It is not a water card. And um, it's, it's more about a... Uh, mutual compatibility rather than love in its initial stages but it is also about decision it is also about choices and in this case you have the choice here should you allow yourself to let go of your guard and give a second chance or give another go or should you decide not to do so while these cards are strongly urges you to be open for everything new and to really try a new try uh, try again or give a, a second chance of someone. Additionally to that, with these two cards, it does look like that some of your problems that are appearing as a burden to you up until this moment, they either are going to vanish, they will no longer be in present, or even if they are present, they will see simply going to lose relevance. And the last thing that these two cards are pointing is that you are going to become more and more aware how much stronger you are that you have been back in the days, right? Um, either in regards to career or, or relationship, you are to feel ready or kind of like not ready, but prepared to climb even a uh, higher summit than you were prepared back in the days. 
And the next one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, uh, Cancer, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, and it is catalyzed here by the Ace of Pentacles. So uh, it is quite broad, the guidance. It simply points that that is to be the week of the opportunity for you to further your goal. And as we saw, the goal that was either set on halt or it was broken back in the days. But for that reason, like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles here, you need to give someone a second chance. You also should maintain your personal sovereignty here or personal independence going out of dependency, okay? You need to maintain the, um, the harmony into the relationships in whatever business endeavor appears in front of you, then you can definitely uh, <clears throat> make it something lucrative, something successful. But the week itself with these two cards, all right, uh, promises a lot of content. It does promise as well a lot of a uh, room for you to grow, but the week itself will ask you to first lay down the foundation to do the very uh, first steps, the very first necessary step before the grow actually can take place. And lastly, those couple of cards at the end it is a testimony for the longevity of the situation. So regardless what the situation is all about, regaining old relationship, friendship, old job, and etc., etc., you can definitely count on that this one is going to be much more long-lasting than the previous attempt. So that being said, uh, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, a uh, September 23rd to September 26th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.